the lesson of Japan, which is a course I teach at Yale, uh, is that in a um, balance sheet recession, post-bubble economies, long-term interest rates can stay lower for a lot longer than people right. think. And we're in the early stages of our own japanese like syndrome. And this is very important, folks. I'll call Stephen Roach a balance sheet economist versus an income statement a economist. Within the shock and awe, with the Bill Dudley comments of two days ago from the New York Fed, from the Slack economy that Chair Yellen speaks of, what is that Fed timeline that you see given this sluggishness? Well, you know, the Fed mistakenly believes that QE is the answer to the balance sheet recession, and it's not. The answer to the balance sheet recession is really in dealing with the problems that are still impeding balance sheets, like excess household debt, uh, excess mortgage debt, uh, and inadequate saving. If we focused our policy and uh, arsenal on those issues, the consumer recovery, uh, the balance sheet repair would accelerate. What does QE do? It makes a few wealthy people a lot happier. It doesn't deal with right. middle class balance sheet problems. And Adam, victory lap right now for Nora Robini, who got laughed at about QE3. I can't do the Nora accent. <laughs> QE3, QE4, uh, yes, QE5. The, the, the QE3, the QE4, oh, the QE5. Why the QE3. am I pretending, Adam? Do that again. And <laughs> Nora Robini, uh, uh, whom you were just with. All right, but here's the thing, Stephen. Low interest rates, in theory, are supposed to help banks, for one, and even the rest of us repair our balance sheets unless you're a saver. If that's not the solution, what is? Uh, debt forgiveness. This has been talked about for a long time, politically unpopular. It gave rise to the Tea Party. There's ways around that. Long-term saving incentives. President Obama, to his credit, uh, did um, uh, announce in a State of the Union address a small incentive for low- and middle-income families, but much more needs to be done. Uh, these are the types of initiatives that politically are you know, impossible to discuss in our Congress. The Fed, by doing QE, uh, really provides a foil for Congress thinking that mm. they don't have to do anything. The Fed will fix it all. But there's no fix. The financial statement of the quarter came from uh, J.P. Morgan, where they said the first 30 days of the quarter were pretty moldy. That was in one of their statements, one of their filings, and Bloomberg reported this. The new banking system, is that part and parcel of this dampening that we're seeing, whether it's modeled as a new neutral, new neutral rather, or whether it's modeled the way you put it? Are the banks in this as well? The, the banks are certainly being constrained as never before from getting into um, risky activity that used to be protected um, uh, by uh, taxpayer backstops. And that does uh, curtail excessive risk taking and leveraging, which was part, by, by no means, all of the problem. Uh, and, but I, I think the, the real problem is still on the demand side, the lack of demand for new credit by balance sheet constrained consumers. I sound like a, balance re a, a broken record here, but that's the problem, not necessarily on the supply. And it's a, a direct challenge to the Bernanke view that the, the banking system uh, is, 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 has been the problem uh, from the start and yeah. needs to be the focus uh, of all the cures uh, in the future. I think that view is dead mm -hmm. wrong. A very critical Steve Roach here.